Hey people, this is the last video I'm doing for today, it's the last bit of reading that I'm doing for today. <laughs> ah! Oh good god, seriously, one does not know which way to look. Um, you just have to be of the assumption that there is is so much, so much that we have no knowledge of that it's just incredible if you if you attempted um to try and catch up on everything that you don't know i really don't think that you could do it in a lifetime or one person's lifetime i really don't think you could even though it's all out there it's all it's all been out there it's always out there you know what i mean but by the time you you become awake to certain things, um, it's it's too late to to get a grasp on everything that is happening. As you guys know, a little while back I did a video on devices, devices. You can look it up. Devices for every part of your body. And that included devices that you stick up your twat, devices just for every part of your body. Wi-Fi devices, you know, you can either go hardwired or you can go fucking Wi-Fi. This was sent to me and I'm going to go down here um, and read. Here. Smart. Uh, this review will focus specifically on remotely triggered treatments in combination with an imaging modality providing a theranostic platform. Smart systems. See that word smart, when you see that, you should run from it. People should know that by now. You know, your smartphone, your smart TV, your fucking smart speakers, your smart friggin' everything. Everything seems to be smart except for you and me. You know what I mean? We're not smart. But all of this stuff is smart. Anyway, smart systems that release drugs or induce a toxic effect in response to an externally controlled Stimulus promised unique clinical benefits over controversial systems that release their cargo passively or are activated internally. These systems are referred to as remotely triggered systems. Externally controlled triggers include visible or near infrared, NIR, light, x rays, radio frequency waves, ultrasound, electric, or magnetic fields. Multifunctional, oh, by the way, let, let me not um, forget where I was. I actually looked up on magnets last night, and magnets and how they affect the body. Do you know that if you put a magnet, um, I'm assuming if you were going to do it, I haven't tested it out yet, and because I don't have any actually, I was looking for a magnet last night, and I thought, why don't I have a magnet, you know? And I couldn't think of anything that might have one where I could rip it off to test it out. But it says, and again, I'm assuming I would put that on my wrist. Um, it says that a magnet can actually thin out your blood. I mean, not to any, obviously, you, you know, I wouldn't go stick my hand to one the size of a fucking house. But, but there you go. You know, I thought that was a little bit enlightening. Um, I didn't go fully into it, but yeah. Multifunctional nanoparticle based remotely triggered. There are Gnostics that permit simultaneous cancer diagnosis and therapy have been designed, synthesized, and evaluated in various in uh, vitro and in vivo models of cancer. It is also important to note that if required, multiple treatment modalities can be degraded into a, sim a single nanostructure for multi-model imaging and therapy. 
These multi-model theranostics afford the possibility of eliminating cancer cells using a combination of two or more remotely triggered therapies. Phototherapy, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. New treatment options that minimize damage to otherwise healthy living tissue through non-invasive remotely triggered. Remotely triggered treatments would be desirable to reduce morbidity in patients. Additionally, it would be helpful if these remotely triggered treatments could be augmented to have diagnostic and treatment monitoring abilities, leading to a remotely triggered theranostic platform that could prove to be of clinical significance. Basically, people, they, they want to hardwire you or Wi-Fi you to all this different stuff. They don't want to deal with your ass, you know? They want to deal with your ass. And, you know, I mean, looking at remotely triggered. Remotely triggered. Like I said, I covered this in a couple of, of videos that I did a while back. Like I says, if you go look for the video that says devices, devices, it would be around that particular video that I would have done, I think, more videos on different devices and the fact that you wouldn't, uh, that no, if you had, for example, I don't know, some device in your body that your doctor could remotely um, give you, uh, um, what would I call it, a not a boost, well, like a kind of booster shot, but from a distance, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, good girl, sorry, I'm losing the plot here. There's, there's just too much fucking triggered shit this morning, you know? On one side, we've got bastards that want to blame nature and, and whatever on giving us friggin' pandemics on the other side got a device for everything but they want to do it from a distance way 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 before I did those videos about devices and stuff I don't know how many of you have followed me that far back but I also spoke about medication you know, we always turn around when there's something in front of us, like, for example, the vax or whatever, and it's right there, it's right now, it's happening. And you go, I'm not taking it, or the other person says, yeah, I'm taking it, da-da-da, it's right there. And we always say, like, you know, people bring up the mark of the beast. And people say, you know, they'll, they'll turn around and go, well, I'm not taking it. And I brought up the fact of how many people worldwide have either gotten an injection at some point or another for whatever, right, have gotten an injection or have taken meds of any sort. How do we know if we've already swallowed Lord knows what inside of a pill? Because it's not like you bring it home and you cut it in half and inspect it. And even if you did, would you be able to see it? Could it be that fucking tiny? Which probably is. How do we know that we're not all already marked? We don't know. We don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that video that I recently put up where, you know, the, the magnet was sticking to people. I mean, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Actually, you know what I'd be curious about on that? That is what vaccine they actually got. Did they all get the same, uh, same make of vaccine? Uh, was it all AstraZeneca? Was it, was it Moderna? Was it whatever? Um... If anybody can find that out, I'd really like to know. But at the end of the day, people, 
this is we don't know we don't know what we've swallowed over the years i mean they're doing so much and have been for so fucking long behind our backs not revealing stuff or simply hoping that they keep us preoccupied with life itself struggling to to survive struggling to freaking put food on on the table for your kids struggling to pay rent struggling with a mortgage that they've hoped that we haven't bothered to even look and most of us i can tell you now up until some years ago this was the furthest from my mind i didn't even have a damn computer do you know what i mean because you don't think maliciously like they do you go to the doctors because you're sick he gives you a script you go and buy the fucking meds you come home and you take them and if they don't work you ditch the bastards or if they do work you continue taking them or whatever you know what i mean but do you ever pull the, the medication apart do you actually have a fucking look what's inside of the bastard so we don't know we don't know what we have inside of us i mean with all the, the 5g just combine it all you know what i mean when you stop and look the, the the vax and the people that you know that video that came out where the magnets are sticking magnetic um i mean 5g towers uh j just just put it all together can you imagine what kind of a fucking soup we're in i i really i don't even want to go down that that road that far because it it just becomes um and that's politely putting it it becomes a major head fuck uh and you gotta you gotta keep a tab on that you know because if you keep delving into this shit it takes you down a nasty road um and I've been there because, you know, the more you read, the more you research, whatever, it gets to the point where, you know, sometimes I find myself just sitting here looking out the window thinking, what's the fucking point? Like, what's the fucking point? But I get my shit together and I say tomorrow's another fucking day. And I'm not going to go down quiet. I'm going to go down screaming. Well, not necessarily screaming, but you know what I mean. But yeah, remotely triggered. I fear that word because I'm a targeted individual. So when I come across stuff that says fucking remotely triggered, oh yeah, mm, no. No, I think I might go get a magnet and run it all over my body and see if my skin starts lifting somewhere or if it starts sticking to me. Um, I might be doing, and yeah, this is me just shooting the shit. So don't be taken literally. <laughs> do not do this at home. But yeah, I just might go fucking check myself, you know. Don't have to be a huge magnet. For fuck's sake, don't get a huge magnet and start sticking it all over your brains. I don't know what's going to fucking happen to you, okay? So just don't be doing that kind of shit, all right? Just get a little one. Just get a little one. Go over your whole body. Check and see. I mean, if you know that you've got metal bit somewhere, if you go pacemaker or fucking something, I'd advise against that, just in case. Um, but yeah, it's um, what can I say? Get out, get some sun, people. Put a smile on your dial, and hey. We're all in it together. We're all in the soup. 